Illustrator CS6 added new features for patterns and swatches. Uh, there's always been patterns and swatches, of course, in Illustrator, but uh, there's now a pattern editor. And I'm just going to go to Illustrator, and there's now some new tools that I've just created, a shape effects tool, and uh, you can use that to create really wonderful designs using the pattern editor. So I'm now just going to quickly go to the object, pattern, make, and I'm just going to quickly create a slightly bigger than 100, so 300, so you can actually see it. Right. Now set tool. Now you have to initially define the fill and stroke. Of course, you could just use what's actually there already, but uh, it's obviously uh, nicer to actually define it. So I'm just going to now apply the design, and it's basically a drag and drop operation. So you just drag across the screen just to create that. And as soon as I release, you can actually see the, the pattern has been created over here. It's a seamless pattern, of course, as you can just repeat in constantly. So now I'm just going to design another one. I'm just going to keep applying these a few times, different. Uh, and you can, like I say, just by simple control of the mouse, create slightly more complicated designs, sort of flower design there, more polygon design there. And also you can hold the shift key down, control key, etc., to uh, modify the shapes even more. So I'm uh, just going to quickly do that, just create a few uh, slight variants. Right, so yeah. And you just keep repeating that over and again, and you can keep quite a jumble of uh, different pattern designs. I mean, obviously, thousands of different designs. And one good thing with this new pattern feature is that you can actually just save a copy at any point. So just save a copy, yep. And that's added to the swatch palette, so you can obviously you can now continue uh, design it, or you can just get rid of the designs. And just, I just created a very big one. You can just see the design there. Just keep applying that. Right. I'm just going to select all the designs. Delete those. And I'm just going to create one with a fill now. So I'm just going to quickly show you the fill. Uh, that's design there. Slightly different design. Right. And of course, you can change the color if you wish. So I'm just going to go to green. Just create one there. And, of course, these paths are uh, just standard paths. So uh, if you actually got a path there, I'm just going to quickly go and select one of those paths. And you can actually add, obviously, other paths to it. You don't have to just use the, uh, the path as well. So you can actually just then drag in, say, maybe a, a circle. I'm just going to obviously colour that so you can actually see it different from the background. And then save a copy. OK. I've done now. Now, when you go back outside, you can actually just go and uh, create a path. And you just obviously go and select there. And you've got your designs that were created earlier. And, of course, you can even create... I'll just select that again. And they also can be filled with the actual designs that have been uh, created already.